welcome to an exciting episode of Mr. Cook's English Class. Today's episode is brought to you in part by the literary element, characterization. Today, you will learn not only how to define characterization, but you'll also be able to use your inference making abilities to actually characterize characters. But before we begin, we need to know our two key terms. The first one is characterization, and the second one is inference. Let's take a look at the definition of characterization. Characterization is the process by which the writer reveals the personality of a character. Now that we know the definition of characterization, we need to consider what factors actually make up a character. Here they are. There are many different factors that make up characterization. However, there are five main ones. The first one is the way a character looks. There's also the way a character thinks, how they act in their actions, what the character says and how they say it, including the way they talk, as well as the way they interact with other characters. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Those are the main key factors that make up characterization. Now, let's talk about how to use your inference making abilities to actually characterize these characters. But first, let's take a look at the definition of inference. The definition of inference is a conclusion reached on the basis of evidence and reasoning. The key words to this is evidence. Now let's actually try using our inference making ability to characterize a character. If we were to look back at our example of Effie Trinket from The Hunger Games, we can simply look at her and say that she's a fancy character. We know that she's fancy because we could see that she's wearing a really fancy dress, as well as having a very unique and fancy hairstyle and using a lot of makeup. We can also tell by the way that she talks that she carries herself in a very high class manner. So we could say that she is classy and fancy simply from the way she looks and the things she says. And the key part of this is our evidence. We actually look at the way she talks by actually analyzing the novel or watching the film and we're actually looking at the way she dresses. We're not simply just making up the evidence. We are pulling it from the text or from the picture. Let's try using another example. If we were to look at Katniss Everdeen, again from The Hunger Games, we can tell from this picture that she is a bit of a tomboy. We can tell this because she's carrying a bow, she's dressed not in a dress, she's wearing hunting gear. We can also tell by the way she thinks from reading the novels that she's not really a people person. We could tell to her thoughts that she doesn't really like many of the characters in the novel. Also, the way she interacts between the other characters in the film and in the novel, we can tell that she doesn't really get along with many people. So again, we're characterizing based off of evidence from the way a character looks, thinks, their actions, as well as the way they talk and how they interact with other characters. And there you have it, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in to Mr. Cook's English class. I will see you in the classroom.